Hey, this is Notzer, and today we're taking a look at the Prime Torpedo Boat Shimakaze and my Torpedo Boat build. I have uh, adopted this and also worked on it a little bit. It is very different for me. I'm much more of a hybrid gunboat DD player, whereas the Shima is definitely the most extreme in the other direction. Uh, so we'll talk about the build and the game itself, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. It's a nice, short, powerful rank game. Uh, as far as modules are concerned, main armament protection, extended duration, speed boost, improved incapacitation protection for torpedoes and speed, uh, acceleration, concealment, and torpedo reload. For the commander, incoming fire alert, last stand, faster torpedo reload, adrenaline rush, last stand, concealment, and radio location. Uh, this build ends up being, you know, you're going to move around the map quickly and you're going to send torpedoes as frequently as you can on targets that are vulnerable to them. And you're not going to fire your gun too much outside of maybe in smoke or behind an island. Uh, that's just one of the weaknesses of the Japanese DD line, the main line. But the torpedoes are amazing. So if you can get some torpedo hits, it works out very nicely. So we went over towards a point and uh, we're hoping to spot the enemy. And yes, we're doing a quick check quite a few number of enemy battleships which could lead towards a lot of damage and uh, we're hoping that we can set that up later they're obviously not in range yet so we approach a with the friendly teammate uh, I think he's a 52 and I just want to place myself so that I can at least contest and move or disengage quickly or get behind an island it's very vulnerable to radar, it's very vulnerable to gunboat DDs that want to rush in, all of that. So the enemy small end being aggressive, he maybe attempted to reposition himself and I attempted to counter that. Unfortunately, when we attempted to counter that, the Minotaur showed up. So we're really just going to take damage here and I am trying my best to avoid taking damage. Although we're just found out so much really overextended but we do get a nice healthy shot on the enemy small end which i would desperately like to kill torpedoes don't hit him minotaur is trying to take us out we are trying to finish him before he drops off and before i'm dead uh, yes there we go small and dead we lost a lot of health just in the service of a drilling rush right that's what we're gonna tell ourselves <laughs> Uh, but we got a DD dead, and we know for a fact that the other DD must be on the other side of the map because he's just not close enough to contribute. So I'm going to try and work my way back towards a point, and hopefully we can get a cap. Uh, we only sent one torpedo, and wide versus narrow, which do you prefer? If I am close to a DD that's going broadside to my position, wide generally will work out pretty pretty well to make sure that there's not an area that he is able to avoid through just sheer speed. It does allow him to act and maneuver if he turns towards you, but if he's broadside, wide tends to work more frequently, I have found. So as we are, we're approaching aim, note that uh, the enemy Montana, the enemy Thunderer, they're both in and around this island. Everyone loves to pile on that island. So you gotta be careful that you're not too close to it to allow another ship to punish you through uh, detection. Uh, so we're obviously capturing the base. We don't want to run into the pink player. Uh, and once we get this captured, we can move on to something else. Uh, I am just setting up for the future. Capture the base, send torpedoes at the retreating battleships. Uh, enemy Montana is spotted by my friendly. So I figure this is a good opportunity to try and get some high explosive down on the target. This isn't something that I can do as frequently as, you know, maybe a daring or a gearing, but it is still contributing positively. And if I can get a fire, that's bonus. Uh, now the first set of torpedoes looks to be pretty good on the Thunderer. Uh, we are gonna hit the nose of the Montana, good. So he has a flood and a fire, and he can choose to put that out or not. We actually get one, two, two torpedo hits on the Thunderer. A third would have knocked him out. Uh, and we're detected by radar. That enemy Minotaur, of course he's here. This is dangerous. We're going to move because I don't want to die. <laughs> 
And, and hopefully we don't die. Enemy Thunderer also returning fire. Can anyone else shoot at us? Uh, Thunderer's taken out. Nice. We get two torpedo hits on the enemy Montana. And I believe that the flood will stick. And if we get a fire over the island, that would have sticked too. But that's not what we got. Uh, <laughs> just like that, all the battleships are gone on this flank. And they're already like, GG. That's, that's all she wrote. And it, it worked out really nicely. I've had trouble with torpedo boats in the past because the reliance on just torpedo hits alone tends to take a long time. Uh, but because I chose this particular build, which is emphasizing moving around the map, the reloading of the torpedoes, it ends up making it a little bit easier to get in those really perfect positions to send the torps and also disengage without having to open up with your guns. It's Definitely an issue on the Shima, and it's not going away. You just have to work around it. Now, the Burgon was actually my primary, which I was hoping that he would show himself. There's also a bunch of enemies that are sort of lining up as they go, and yep, Burgon's there. So because we get confirmation of his existence, we're going to send everything. And he actually was close enough to spot us because he's round the island so close. His definitely was his idea. His idea was to detect us. Note the enemy Montana in the background, barely alive. Uh, the torpedo sent looks like we're going to hit a couple, which is good, but I don't necessarily know if it's going to be enough to knock him out completely. No, no. We do get three, which is good. And I do consider, oh, you know, the Oshino, is he going to spot us? No, no, he won't. If it's free damage, it's free damage. Well, that's no damage. Enemy Montana taken out. Uh, the Burgon looks to be maybe turning around and going back towards this way. There is also a DD that could potentially come towards me. So I want to make sure that I am taking the fight the way I have the best chance to win. Ergo, you want to keep an island blocking most of the enemy so they don't have direct line of sight. And until you know where the opponent could be on the map, you need to approach it as if he is close to his last known position. If you do that, you're not going to be as surprised as maybe some other players who are not keeping tabs on the opponents and using you know, the game's assumptions of what they could potentially be doing. I know you guys, some of you, don't know the game as well, so you don't know what to look for. But there are very obvious tells of the intention of DDs. And, you know, maybe the Burgon, he's feeling that too. I don't know. I, I just know that he's trying to round the island. And he's doing it in, like, the slowest way possible. So he's going he's gonna to take some torps. Hopefully. They look good. They look like they're going to hit right on the nose and knock him out completely. And, of course, the Thunderer does his job. He... Kills the target before the torpedoes, just before the torps were going to hit him, and kill him. And uh, I appreciate that, Thunderer, but I would have really liked the extra 15,000 damage and another kill. Uh, you know, we're going to win this game, and that's all that matters, and I'm happy for that. I like this torpedo build. It's fun. It's different. It is vulnerable to guns. That's why you need to move away carefully and use the superior concealment. But you know what? It, it's a nice, enjoyable experience, and I, it's one that I have definitely hoped for, and I was afraid. But, you know, with the changes to the commander skill and the animations, torpedoes are definitely something that can be effective if you use them appropriately. And, yeah, this enemy DD, he's over here. We're not going to get in position before the game ends, which, you know, that's okay. Uh, it was it was just a great experience for me. Oh, he's so low. Oh, get around the island. And nope, nope, that's it. Uh, if you enjoyed seeing the Shima do some work, please like the video. If you dislike, dislike. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, we do World of Warship videos. My North American recruit invite is on the screen. You can take advantage of that. I stream at twitch.tv slash Thank you and have a wonderful day.